Islands in the Stream is a song that helped make a legend of Dolly Parton. That was Kenny Rogers with her. You can see Dolly Parton tonight on the Grammy Awards here on CBS. But first, she's sharing memories with our Tony DeCopo. We've all been singing along with Dolly for decades. But if you want to know the truth about Dolly Parton, know this. She works way more than just nine to five. Even with a half century of music behind her, the glitzy, big haired queen of country glamour is still at it 24 seven. Still writing her legacy, one song at a time. It's my therapy, my guitar is my friend. When I'm in that zone, I call it my God zone. Yeah. I just love that time. So please don't even mention the R word to this 73 year old. Everybody do it tonight. Yeah, people always say, why don't you retire? I say, and do what? What, are you, what does that even mean? Sit on your pile of I money and awards. I do that. I don't care. I always count my blessings more than I count my money. I don't work for money, never did. I just wanted, it was the art. It was the job. I love the work. And I've done well, and I'm thankful for it. On Friday, the music industry said thank you to her. Jolene, 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 Jolene. With a star-studded celebration of pardon. And words can't describe what I feel inside. She's the Grammy's 2019 Music Cares Person of the Year, an honor not only for her music, but for her charity work, like Parton's Imagination Library, a literacy program she started, which mails more than a million free books each month to children under five. We thought maybe it might do good in our county, maybe a couple of counties over, but now we're all over the world and we've given 100 million books away. I'm as proud of that as anything I've ever done. Well, these were all from the 60s when I first started. With and she's Kansas. also proud of her peerless wardrobe. When I put it on, it looks cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> now on display at the Grammy Museum in Los Angeles. This feels like the epitome of the Dolly Parton look. Well, it is, and it's kind of, I, I love being flashy. I love kind of showing the parts of me that, uh, that I've become famous for. Mm -hmm. And try to do it in as good a taste as I can. I'm just a backwards Barbie. Dolly's open about nearly everything, including her cosmetic surgery. But as she sings in her song, Backwoods Barbie, Don't be fooled by thinking that the goods Don't be fooled by thinking that the goods are not all there. It is true that I, I look artificial, but I believe that I'm totally real. And my look is really based on a country girl's idea of glam. I wasn't naturally pretty, so I make the most of anything I've got. Hold on a second. I'm telling you, I'm not. You were not naturally pretty? No. I've I, seen the pictures, Dolly. I'm sorry. I well, you should have seen me this morning before I got ready to see <laughs> you. <laughs> but I'm serious, though. I'm not like a natural beauty. Uh, but I can enhance it, whatever, whatever it takes. I do. I try to make the most of everything. You do something to me that I can't explain. It's hard to argue with the results. What are you doing? It's time to go on stage. If you need a reminder, Parton has sold more than 100 million albums. Islands in the stream. That is what Won a shelf full of Grammys and written thousands of songs, including... That's right, I Will Always Love You was a 1974 hit for Parton and a 1992 sensation for Whitney Houston in The Bodyguard. Does it ever bother you that people think that's Whitney Houston's song? No, I always say she can have the credit as long as I get my cash. <laughs> it's a good line, and Dolly Parton is full of them. When other people want to make a joke or make a comment, you make the comment better than they ever could. 
Well, I guess some of that is kind of always just, you know what they're thinking, so you want to do it too. But I'm also funny. Oh, should we do a couple of them for the fans? Oh, I guess. Okay. Right. Dolly, how long does it take for you to do your hair? I wouldn't know. I'm never there. <laughs> Dolly, are, are they real? Are they real expensive and real big. <laughs> how do you want people to remember you 100 years from now? I want them to say, God, don't she look good for her age? You do have them down. I do. Humor was a help where Parton grew up, the fourth of 12 children in rural Tennessee. I wrote a song years ago called In the Good Old Days When Times Were Bad. No amount of money could and it said no amount of money could buy from me the memories that I have of them. But no amount of money could pay me to go back and live through it again. Music made everything a little brighter. When I started writing these songs, my mom was real impressed with how I could write and rhyme these songs at such an early age. And she would say, oh, honey, go get that guitar. I want you to sing them. And she'd say to people, I want you to hear this song this little thing wrote. And so I thought, oh, I'm getting a whole lot of attention now. So I think that kind of encouraged it. But also, I loved the sound of that music. I loved the sound of the instruments. I loved being able to create something. And it gave me a little space and a little world of my own that I could just live in and be creative in. And How early did, did you realize this is more than just a dream? This is going to be my profession. This is a job. I guess I was about 10 years old. First time that my uncle took me to sing in front of an audience. And it was when they kept clapping and clapping after I had finished my song <laughs> that I thought that, you know, it felt, I felt something. I thought, you know, I was scared, I was nervous, I'm a country little kid. But when I got that applause and got that feeling is when I thought, this is what I think I'm, I'm going to do. In my Tennessee mountain she moved to Nashville, and soon she was singing before a national audience on the Porter Wagner Show. In my Tennessee. One night after a performance, she met a young fan. And I remember this little red-headed girl with green eyes, pretty little thing. And I, I said, well, what's your name? And she said, Jolene. I said, well, I love that name. All the way back to the bus, I was doing Jolene, 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 so I wouldn't forget the name. Your beauty is beyond compare with flaming locks of auburn hair. With she gave the name to another redhead she knew, a bank teller who flirted with her husband, Carl. Jolene, 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 I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. The song helped launch Parton's solo career. And don't worry, she is still happily married. But as she jumped from country to pop to Hollywood, the couple never did get around to having children. Is that a regret? No, absolutely not. Was it at some point? I... It wasn't meant to be. And I don't regret it. I never regretted it. I mean, it was a choice. So you make your choices, you make your sacrifices. And I never looked back. I knew early on that I was going to walk that road till God told me to stop. And I'm still walking it. And he ain't said nothing to me about quitting yet. Tumble out of bed and I stumble to the kitchen for myself a cup of ambition. In fact, and she's going back for more, including a sequel to her classic 1980 film, Nine to Five. If you touch that phone, I'm gonna jerk it clean out of the wall. Her character, Dora Lee, got the best of an abusive male boss, and in the eyes of some became a feminist hero. Dora Lee, let me loose her. I'm calling for help. No, I gonna, don't want you to call, call for help. Whoop. There. Is that a word, feminist, that you apply to yourself? Well, I guess I am, but I don't think of it in, like they do. I'm just a, I'm a feminine girl. I'm a working girl. I think we all should be treated with respect, and if we do a good job, we should get paid for it. So I'm all about that. While Mom was sold, she told a story from the Bible she had read about a cold. Dolly Parton has written more than 3,000 songs, and she says her favorite is this one, A Coat of Many Colors. My coat of many colors that my mama made for me. The story of a poor kid from the Great Smoky Mountains who learned early on what really matters. And although we had no money, I was rich as I could be in my coat of many colors that mama made. She made it just for me.
And on a better day, I can pick forever. 